What's up guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, I will be talking about my top three best games that, sh that you should play with your friends. Also, before I start this, uh, before I show you the top three, I want to say thank you so much for 3k subscribers. I've actually gotten like a thousand subscribers in like in like three months, I think. That's actually a pre a very good accomplishment. Thank you very much. And yeah, let's get started. So first in top three we have FNAF Coop. Based on the Final Fantasy Freddy's games or series by Scott Cotton, I recommend you guys to try one of the FNAF games before trying this out. Cause like uh, you need to know a bit of FNAF. FNAF Coop is basically an all-in-one of FNAF games that are made by Scott Cotton, and it's also three D. So like you can like explore the map. And it's and it's also like you can also play multiplayer so you can play with your friends. It has Five Nights at Freddy's one, Five Nights at Freddy's two, Five Nights at Freddy's three, Five Nights at Freddy's four, even FNAF sister location, and there's more. So yeah, I'm going to show you a short clip of me playing FNAF one so that you guys could understand. Also, uh, these Five Nights at Freddy's games are like horror games, so like they're scary games. So, yeah, and. The reason why I'm putting this in my top uh tree is because it is good, like it's you can like also play with your friends. So that is why I really like this game. You can play with your friends. It's it's like pretty fun. So yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'm playing solo. As you can see, there's like FNAF one, FNAF two, FNAF three, FNAF four, sister location, basement hunt, puppets, revenge. I haven't. I didn't tried. I didn't try that out. All right. So I'm gonna just play FNAF 1 and, and show you guys uh, how this works so I'm gonna I'm going to do night 2 I don't wanna I don't wanna do like that I don't wanna I don't wanna play like a uh, hard night I'm just gonna do night 2 as you can see it shows you night 2 12 a.m. you're playing as a night guard uh, you, you know the FNAF 1 map well it it's basically it, it, 3d version this is the map there's the uh, there's the animatronics. There's Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. There's actually Foxy too. So there's also a shop over here. You can buy uh, stuff over here like a watch. It tells you the time. Extra one percent that you can buy multiple times. I'm pretty sure. Duct tape that I'm pretty sure you use it for to like uh, repair the generator faster. And the generator is basically well a generator. You need to. Uh, well, you need to repair it sometimes like sometimes during the night it can go down and you have to go in parts of service Which is over here. Yeah, it's over here. You have to repair the generator It's pretty easy, but you have to watch out if you touch the animatronic once you're dead So as you can see you got two. Li you got like a door light you also you can also like close the door at the animatronic or well, chica is at the door same here. You have cameras, and you, you have to listen to the phone guy too. He, he tells you informations about like what what's gonna happen, for example, or something like that. Alright, so as you can see, you got uh, security cameras that you got view. As you can see, Bonnie and Chica already out. You got also view a uh, cam one C two because uh, Foxy can go out of his curtains and run to your office. And when he does, you have to close the door. Also, you you can uh, peek uh, peek like this if you want, but it's a bit risky because they move a bit fast. Oh my God, Bonnie is already at my door. Well, not my door, but like about to go on my door. Also, there's Freddy too. When Freddy comes, you have yeah. When you see him at your door, you have to shut the door. You won't see him at uh, the door. You'll see him in cams. So yeah. We Oh, see, so you, uh, you you have power too, and you have to save at power. As you can see, I'm not saving power at all because I'm stressing out right now. But you can play you can play this game with friends, which is the best part. Your friends can help. You. Oh. So I'm gonna go into top two. So, yeah. Anyways, second in top two, we have Fleet of Facility. 
a lot of you might know this game and I've played it before. It's a pretty recognized game in Roblox and an old game too. This game is ex extremely fun to play with like three friends or four or five friends, especially in a private server. In this game, there's a beast. The beast needs to capture the survivors slash the players by bringing them bring them to the to freezers on the map the beast also has an ability the runner ability the survivors on the other hand they need to survive they need to escape this facility or map they have to hack a three to five computers it depends on the number of players in the server they have to run away from the beast there are vents around the map that they can crawl in to escape the beast yeah the survivors basically have to like not get hit by the beast they have to run away from the beast when three to five computers are hacked they have to open one or both of the exit doors and escape uh, if a survivor is captured and are in a freezer the other survivors can save the one that is in the freezer but they have to be careful because it's also a bit risky you can get hit too Here's a short clip of me playing f Fleet Facility. Alright guys, I'm gonna vote to the airport. Airport is a very good map. And I'm the beast. I have to capture the survivors. So I have to try to find them. You have to listen for computer hacking sounds. Because you never know if someone is hacking a computer near you. Yeah, see there's someone over there. I'm not gonna use my runner yet. Because if you jump and like you use a runner, it cancels it. Wait. There, I got this person. You have to press. Uh, you have to press under play under player to rope them. So you can also camp if you want, but people will be mad at you for camping. So yeah, it's up to you to camp or not. I'm gonna camp. Right, so I'm gonna just try to get this person. You're not running away. Where'd you go? Oh, you're here. What? It didn't count. It's supposed to count. I don't know why it didn't count. Oh, I see you. You're not. You're not getting. You're not getting away with this. What, what? This is so confusing. There, no way. Is he actually gonna save him? Oh, I see you. I'm just gonna camp this person then. You were supposed to get hit. I don't know why it didn't count. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Is this person ill? Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> Alright, this person does save. Oh, he's over here. Panic. Oh no! Yes! See, I'm smart. And I'm gonna put you in the freezer. GG's. Anyways, let's go to top one. Anyways, finally. At top one is Emergency Response Liberty County or ERLC for short. This game is an amazing game. It is basically like GTA 5 a little bit. In this game, you can choose to be a civilian or a police officer or a sheriff or a firefighter or a DOT and more. You can also become a criminal by being wanted. And yeah, you can buy cars that can be luxury or exotic or SUVs and more also if you want to be a criminal you can rob cash registers to ju jewelry store to ATMs to even a bank How however to rob a bank you must create a mafia which is free this game is extremely fun to play with friends especially when you're when you're, you created a mafia you can invite your friends in it and like uh, have fun robbing places and earning a lot of money you can also get guns in this game too if you want to be a police officer or a sheriff you can arrest criminals chase them you can earn money by that too i'm going to show you a clip of me playing this game so yeah guys uh this is the city that just spawned it. it's called river city uh you can do a lot of stuff here this is the building where you can get your license and registration stuff. Uh, if you come here, you can spawn a car over here. I own, this is the best car I own. 
so let's spawn it as you can get some damage yeah your car can get damage also uh there's a car dealership over there so over here this is the gas station to fill up your car with gas this is the bank this is the only bank in the city that you can also rob if you created a mafia over here you can also repair your car and add some mods to your car over here, the car color, rim color, license plate, uh, and plate beside, design. So, yeah. Oh, and if you click the three bars over here, you can choose to become a civilian, or a sheriff, or a fighter, or a fire firefighter, or police, or a duty. So there's the gun shop, you can get uh, a gun over here. Here, here, I'll buy this. You can, you can buy your mag refill, you can also buy an ammo box that I, that I highly recommend. And you can also, also, you can pull fire alarms, it's satisfying, and I'm gonna pull it for no reason. Also, uh, you can rob the cash register here, so yeah, I'm not gonna do the second one. Also, you must stay alive uh, for a few minutes to keep your money. So yeah, over here at the tool store, you can buy uh, the RFID disruptor that is used for robbing ADMs, a glass, a glass cutter to rob G, G water store cases, Lockpick to lockpick houses, AK robbed them, and yeah, I forgot to say, tell, the, tell you guys this, but you also have a cell phone, you can call like emergency services, you can call people on the server, you can even call taxi, hi, what, what, he's just too good at this game, <laughs> bro, alright, I'm out of here, and yeah, this game is all about role play, having fun. Yeah, you know, this uh, this is why uh it's at it's at top one, and it's one of my favorite games on Roblox. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll include the link, the links to the, these games, in the link in the, the description down below. It's it's in the description, yeah. And yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry if I'm not really uploading that much. Uh, I'm trying my, my best to like upload more videos. Also, you can join my Discord server. It's in, in the link in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys. Bye.